Hey friends, so I'm in my car right now. I am about to go get my hair cut. I'm so excited. I have not had an actual haircut in, I don't know how long, it's been a minute. So I wanna show you my hair. I really like the length that it is now, but I almost think it's like too long for me on a daily basis. Um, I had it really short um, a couple of years ago. If you um, have been following me since then, or we've been friends, um, it was kind of like above my shoulders and I absolutely loved that look. And I thought it was a vibe, you know? And my hair is on the curly side. I don't. It's not like super tight curls or anything like that, but it does get pretty curly and I like the way it looks when I have my curls, you know, styled. So. I don't know. I think I want to do that. I don't think I want like super intense like layers or bangs again. Um, but I do think I want it like a little bit shorter. Um, maybe like right up to my shoulders, but it is like down to here. So the only thing I get hesitant on with short hair is your girl loves extensions and I really love to wear my clip-ins, but when it's that short, I can't <laughs> like it just doesn't blend as well and it's really at a great length right now where it blends so well so I'm feeling a little torn that way but either way I do need a trim I need some touch-ups you know um but I do want to kind of like take my extensions in with me one time and have her cut them to like make everything blend well you know because your girl like your girl's like a cosmo girl but like not like that you know like i love hair and makeup and i can do my own thing but i'm not that skilled so i don't know i'll talk to my hairstylist today and see what she recommends so i'm gonna take you along with me um and yeah little mini vlog so this is my hair salon. I go to Polo Hair Salon in Middletown. This is just me sitting in the waiting room and then this is after. Cute. Yay. We cut off, I don't know, I don't know how many inches, but we, we got a cut, guys. Okay, I'm loving my cut. I can't, like, stop looking over at myself because <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, it feels so good. It feels so smooth. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm in love. Um, I did not do really any like layers or anything like that, but yeah. This is my outfit today. I wanted to show you. Um, this is, I don't know, a top from Target, I think. And then this is the skirt from Pinky Swear that I just got. And then these shoes are convertible shoes, which are so cool. The heel comes off. Isn't that cool? And then you put a little flat cap here and then they are flats, which is really cool. And then if I can do this on one foot, nope, I can't. <laughs> uh, you hook it in, push it in, and then you have heels, which is so cool. Um, but I just got my hair cut and yeah, this is my outfit. I wore, I wore this little scrunchie today. But, so cute, just wanted to show you my outfit. feel really good after my haircut. It's so light and it just, I don't know if you can hear my dog barking, but anyway, <laughs> um, it just feels really good. It feels healthier and yeah, I'm just going to have 
a way more enjoyable process doing my hair. I mentioned I like to wear my clip-in hair extensions, um, but you know what? Realistically, I wear them maybe once a month, like when I go out or like something fancy. But with this length, I just will want to do it every day or majority of the week because I feel like I stopped doing my hair and I don't like that. So I'm feeling quite pretty after my haircut. I just feel like it suits me on a daily basis and my hair was almost getting like too long, which is crazy, right? Um, but I wasn't doing it. It didn't make me want to do my hair, even though I want long hair. It's just not practical for me, which makes me feel really old. I feel like this is like a practical haircut. <laughs> But anyway, I said that I would love to do my clip-ins and my length before this cut was perfect for blending my clip-ins in, but I'm not doing that every day. I'm doing it like maybe once a month. So to have something that I can enjoy every single day is way better. So yeah, I am really happy with my haircut. So I'm going to attempt to put a end <laughs> to this vlog. I've filmed many, many vlogs before, but I've never posted them. Um, so now I'm kind of just in the space where I'm just going to film it and post it. So bear with me. But today, just wanted to show you me going to the salon, my after, the cut, my outfit of the day, and the products that I ended up picking up. So let's just jump into that and then that'll be it. I ended up getting the holiday gift set from Loma. I have used a couple of their shampoo and conditioner sets before, and the nourishing one is my absolute favorite. So this is the hair and body kit, which comes with shampoo and conditioner that are both full size, and the body wash and body lotion. I can't remember if she said those are full size as well. I think they are because the body wash is almost 12 ounces and the body lotion is 8 ounces. And the shampoo and conditioner are both 12 ounce bottles. So let me open this up and show you what they look like. So here are the shampoo and conditioners. They are awesome. This is, again, like I said, the nourishing conditioner and nourishing shampoo. Um, they are sulfate, gluten, and soy free. Um, I know some of my friends are gluten free, like anytime gluten really touches their skin, they do break out in hives. So be aware of that when you're like looking for some products, um, you can kind of like break out in a rash. So this might be a good option for you. Um, the ingredients in here are organic majority of them. This is the cranberry and pear aromatherapy. I don't necessarily know where they get their aromatherapy from. Specifically, that's cranberry and pear. Um, it's got aloe, shea butter, avocado oil, olive oil, fruit, uh, excuse me, olive, fruit oil, lavender, fennel, sunflower, and then it does say fragrance in there. Um, so, fragrance can really mean anything. I wonder if I can go on their website and check it out. It doesn't have like an asterisk next to it because I know most of them that do have an asterisk, like in this case, that signifies that those are organic, but sometimes with fragrance, it will have a asterisk where you can go on their website and see what the blend is. So me explaining my concern for the fragrance in this is how I've been like living my life. I'm just trying to narrow down where I can improve my choices because fragrance tends to be really disruptive to your hormones because when companies put fragrance on there, it can be up to like, I think the number's quite wild. I want to say like 3000 things. Um, I have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure the number is outrageous um, because it's proprietary. They don't have to disclose everything that they have in there. Um, but for this brand, I fe I'm feeling a little bit more okay because it's mostly organic. I don't know though. We'll have to look it up. Anyway. All right. We are wrapping it up. I'm going to show you the body lotion and the shampoo. So these are the bottles here, the body wash and the lotion here. So they both do have 
fragrance. However, it is the last ingredient in here. And if you didn't know, when you're reading an ingredient list, whatever is first on that list is the most prominent in that product. And whatever is last is going to be the least. It's so it's not in there as much as number one. So just a helpful hint when you are reading ingredients um, and just trying to learn labels. The scents of the body lotion and body wash are mango, so different than the cranberry pear shampoo and conditioner. All right, friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me this afternoon, and I hope you learned something a little bit about the ingredients in things. Um, again, I'm just trying to share with you how I am navigating trying to live a lower toxin lifestyle. Okay, so join me for the ride if you want. But if not, I hope you enjoyed and maybe you learned a little something. And if you're looking for a new shampoo and conditioner, definitely check that out. And if you need a new hairstylist, my hairdresser is amazing. Bethany Craft over at Polo Salon in Middletown, Rhode Island. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.